After trying to cool off this week, Sunsplash Water Park will be back open for business today. Yeah, the popular attraction closed last Wednesday after a fire ripped through the main building. The state fire marshal determining a golf cart ignited and caused the blaze. Fox 4 Rising's Malcolm Johnson is live at Cape Coral at the park with more on the changes park goers will see beginning today. Malcolm. Hey, good morning, Mary and Chris. This is what so many people in Cape Coral, I imagine, wanted to see. The parents out there who want to bring their kids right back here to Sunsplash Water Park. It's open. If you remember last week, this was a burnt building. It looked absolutely terrible in here, but right now crews are working to get a temporary modular building here. It's going to be about 60 foot long, 30 feet wide. It's actually going to replace some of this temporary vegetation that they have in place right now. Uh, this will all be gone by 1 o'clock. That building is going Going to replace uh, what was their guest services building before. That's where they sold some of their uh, basic gifts for guests, some food as well. You can see they've got some drinks over here. They've got a temporary kitchen that's set up for people. You see some of the crews unloading some of the drinks. Well, parents, this is what you're going to be able to bring your kids back to. It doesn't look like what it used to. But it's a step. And they tell me that come September, on the 25th, when the park closes for the season, that's when they will begin building the new permanent guest services building. But here's what matters. You can come back to the park today at 10 a.m., bring your kids by, and you'll be good to go. For now, reporting in Cape Coral, I'm Malcolm Johnson, Fox 4, in your corner. Thanks, Malcolm. And speaking